Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial about motion tweening, animating objects, and classic motion tweening, the old way we animate objects in Flash. So right now I have this text object here on the stage, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to say this is text, I'm going to lock it, I'm going to create a new layer, right here with the new layer button, and then I'm going to get the oval tool here, and let's say fill, I'll make it... Uh, dark red. I'll hold down the shift key and make a perfect circle, right? And then I'm going to double click on that with my selection tool and I'm going to convert it to a movie clip. Modify, convert to symbol and call it movie clip. I'm going to set the registration point instead of the upper left hand corner where it normally is. I'm going to set it to the center since it's going to be a ball or bouncing ball. All right, click OK. And now I've got this movie clip. All right. So um, if I wanted to do a bouncing ball in the old school way of classic tweening, classic motion tweening, what I could do is I could right click here and say add classic motion guide. And now it adds a classic motion guide on the top where I can create the path that I want the ball to follow. So on this classic guide layer now, I'm going to take a line, okay, I draw a line, and then I will get the selection tool and I'll bend the line into the path I want the ball to follow. Okay, so there we go, there's that. Now I'll select the line and I'll move it into position. Okay, or near position. Well, we'll say right here. How about that, right? Okay, so now the, the um, line is set and now I'll go to the ball layer and I'm gonna snap the ball onto the line. So I snap it on there and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say, okay, I've got this keyframe right here, and I'll say insert classic tween. All right, classic tween. And so now I'm going to go out to frame 20, and I'm going to, for my guide layer, I'm going to hit F5 to put frames all the way to 20. And then on the um, ball layer, which is layer 5, I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. All right, and then I will move the ball to the other side where I want it to be and notice how it snaps onto the line because it's our guideline I've got sn um, snapping to objects set for my objects also on the keyframe it has snap set so now if we animate it, you'll see that the ball follows the path of the line and what I can do is I can on this keyframe grab the ball again pull it off or just actually it's really snapped on there take it all the way to the end and now the ball follows the path and if I hit enter you'll see the animation I'm gonna put extra frames on our text layer here so that we can see that alright if I hit enter you'll see it follows the path now this guideline that we have here will not show up in the flash movie if you hit control test movie uh, test movie in flash professional you'll see that in the movie you don't see the guideline. Okay, now I'm going to change this slightly though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, on this keyframe I want the ball to go to the top. All right, and then what I'm going to do is, is on this first keyframe where I set the tweening, I'm going to set easing to, uh, let's say, 60. So now as the animation happens, it slows down as it gets to the top, and then we're going to speed it up when we get to the bottom. So on 40, right here, insert frame on my guide layer. On this layer, where the ball is, insert a keyframe, and then move the ball to the bottom of the path. All right? And then on the bottom layer here where my text is, I'll insert frame so we can see the text. And now what I'm going to do is, is on this keyframe where the tween is, occurs, the tween occurs at the beginning keyframe, I'm going to set the easing now down to negative 60. Let's see here, negative 60. And so now the ball should speed up on the way down. So now if we play it, control enter to make our movie, you can see that it actually slows down and then speeds up as it moves. So if I want it to be a little more extreme, on this one I'll say negative 100, hit Control Enter, and you'll see that 
it moves. Now, what we don't want to happen is, oh, it's perfect. Actually, control enter, and you'll see here is, there we go. All right, and then it's time for the next bounce. Okay, with the new way of motion tweening, it's a bit easier. So what we'll do is, we'll turn our eyeballs off on this one. Okay, I'm going to go to this top layer, and I'm going to hit click new layer. So now we have a new layer. All right, I'm going to go to my library. All right, and I'll drag the, the ball out to the stage on this new layer. Okay, close that. All right, now, the, the new way we, we work this is I'm going to put a insert a keyframe here. The new way we can do this is we can, right here on this first keyframe, we can say insert motion tween, which is the new tween, the classic tween, motion tween. So motion tween, right, and then just move the ball where we want it to go. So I'll move it up here. Actually, hold on. Go to the end of the motion tween. The motion tween was automatically put in from here to here. So if I go to the end of the motion tween, I can drag the ball to its new position. And you can see that the tween happens right here from point A to point B. And we can see a motion path uh, that's automatically put in for our tween. And what we can do is we can just simply bend it, which will guide the animation. So now um, the animation is created and the motion path in just one instance. In many ways though, the old way is just as good and sometimes even better. You can see here if I just hit enter, there we go. All right. And then it's time for the next bounce. So that is motion tweening and classic tweening. Now, this whole thing will not work if you have a regular object. So if I take this object here and I create a circle, you notice this circle is a shape. It's not a symbol, a movie clip. It's not a grouped object, right? It's just a shape. Okay, if I take that and I want to insert and do a um, motion tween, it says the selected item cannot be tween. You must convert this to a symbol in order to tween. Do you want to convert it? So it will convert it for you and then do it, but um, and so it gives you that option. So you can take a shape and do it on the fly. So this is new aspects and uh, the old versions of Flash wouldn't do that if you had a shape. It wouldn't give you an option to automatically convert it.